Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nico Ancelini. I am the CEO and co-founder of Cardius, a medical device working on a breakthrough mechanical circulatory support device, also known as a heart assist pump, for practical purposes to treat late-stage patients, late-stage heart failure patients like Mr. Funk, whose heart cannot keep up with his job creating a traffic jam of blood in his lungs and depriving his organs of what they need to function properly. It is also impacting Mrs. Funk, his caregiver. So, heart failure is a chronic condition. Cardiac disease is one of the leading causes of death in the, in the world and all of it leads to heart failure. So, one in five people in this very same virtual room will ha develop heart failure over the lifespan. Right now, there's 64 million patients diagnosed with it worldwide. 25% of those will die within one year and 75 within five years after diagnosis. It is the leading cause of hospitalizations in patients over 65 with 1.25 million per year. The 30-day readmission rate in the US healthcare system is one of the highest at 18%. And by 2030, almost 10 million Americans will be diagnosed with it, with direct medical costs exploding to $7 billion a year. So Cardius is busy developing a solution called the left atrium unloading device or LOT. It is superior to all of others because one, it uses induction charging instead of cables protruding through the skin, diminishing the chances of infection. Two, it is implanted using a thoracotomy instead of an open heart surgery, reducing the length of stay of the patient. Three, the centrifugal pump design drains blood from the left atrium into the uh, aorta, partially bypassing a thick and weakened left ventricle, which remains fully functional for safety purposes. So the number one differentiator of the lot against other devices is this. We are the only one proposing induction charging mechanism, not touching the left ventricle, and treating both types of heart failure, which is very important. That is reduced ejection fraction and preserved ejection fraction, also known as systolic heart failure or diastolic heart failure. The last value proposition is resting on four pillars. The first one is the patient, Mr. Fong, for whom the lot is a quality of life device instead of an end of life one. For Mr. Fong's cardiologist, the lot means treating more of his late stage heart failure patients less invasively and more effectively. For Mr. Funk's insurance provider, it's all about cost reduction when treating late stage heart failure patients. For Mr. Funk's hospital, it's all about better care becoming the standard of care. The investment opportunity here is huge with almost 6.7 million people in the U.S. suffering from heart failure or diagnosed with heart failure. 580,000 of them are in the last two stages of this condition. That is a total addressable market of 44 billion. 120,000 of them have a very low ejection fraction, which means a very poor quality of life, high lung congestion, and low cardiac output. A serviceable addressable market of 9 billion. 60,000 are actually eligible for lot therapy, which is a market worth $4.5 billion. And guess what? Only 3,500 are implanted right now with a heart acid pump or mechanical circulatory support device. Just a fraction, 6 to 8% of the entire market. So, Cardis is actively building an intellectual property portfolio to surrounding area of interest we would like to operate in with the collaboration of 
grant funding institutions like the NIA, universities, and commercialization partners, as well as regulatory consultants. Right now, we're, we are preparing an NIH SBIR phase one grant application for the January cycle submission. And we will be looking in the second semester of 24 or early 2025 for a $5 million investment to build 25 alpha prototypes and tested them on 12 picks. Our exit strategy is actually to be acquired, to strategically position ourselves to be acquired by one of the leading companies in the space like Abbott, Johnson & Johnson, Medtronic, and Edwards. They've been very busy acquiring both com small and large companies in the space. We have a team, we have assembled a team of key opinion leaders in the field, including cardiac surgeons, cardiologists, as well as engineers, regulatory consultants, and universities to achieve our goal. We envision a future in which heart failure patients like Mr. Funk are able to dance to the tunes of Baby Shark with their grandchildren and wife, or enjoy a glass of wine in a hot tub after a hard day of work. Thank you very much for your time, and I really appreciate uh, the NIA's commitment to our success. Thank you.